Hey folks, it's time for Twip Pro Photo Critique number 93. This is Twip. Hey, welcome back to another Twip Pro Photo Critique. This is Critique number 93. I'm sitting here with my partner in crime, Mr. Troy Miller. We're gonna step through some of the, uh, the latest entries in the Twip community there. This week's topic was time or the passage of time or however you wanted to interpret time troy miller what do you think we got we got a couple of uh interesting yeah. entries in there are you pleased with what what people <laughs> submitted um yes i am pleased with what they submitted i i was hoping that we would get a few more images but you know it's it's that time of the year where everybody's busy they're shopping for christmas they're you know stressing out making plans so yeah. you know i think we hit our number i think we're good yeah, yeah. I wanted more. I'm not. So you're easy to please. <laughs> you're easy to please. <laughs> I am not easy to please. I am not easy to please. Uh, but no, yeah. The the quality of the entries I'm pleased with. The number yep. of entries I am. You know, I wish we had more, which we will as the community grows. So. Right. Um, so this one is, like I said, this one was time. Um, I think we we both settled on a favorite as we were talking about in the in the pre-show. We did. Yeah. yeah. So we won't reveal that now. We'll re reveal that at the end. That's your cliffhanger to stay tuned to the end of this. <laughs> uh, but there are only five entries. So, you know, it's not like you got to wait along, read, 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 right. read around all day. That's right. Um, foreshadowing next week's critique, number 94. What's our topic for that one? Uh, holidays, holidays, because it's that time of year. We're coming up to Christmas time, uh, so you know everybody's kind of celebrating something different this time of the year. So, yeah. holidays, yeah, yeah. And let's let's give a four foreshadowing of the Ooh. following week, which we don't do because we're at the end of the year now. Let's give people a chance to to be thinking creatively. What what is so? The next week is critique ninety four, right? The the one after that is what's the number after ninety four? Uh, 95. <laughs> so that'll be the last critique of 2019. Wow. Yeah. And uh, what's our what's our topic for that one? Celebrations. All right, celebrations. Yeah. But don't get it twisted, people. So this this next critique for seven days from today is holidays. Yeah. You know, holidays. Or however you want to interpret that, holidays. And then the one after that is. Celebration. Celebrations. Yeah, because right. there's party poppers and resolutions and, you know, just just some some heavy drinking for some, uh, heavy eating for others, uh, sleeping. Them, both for others. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Sleeping in the following day. Yep, yep, yep. So <laughs> should be good. Should be good. I'm looking forward to seeing this. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. So and then then the last note I have on my my prep sheet here is there are only five more five more critiques that we're doing until we hit a hundred after 95 right. right so we're gonna you and i are gonna brainstorm some ways to sort of crisp up the critiques a little and absolutely make them make them more substantive and give more incentive for people to participate and you have some ideas around basically around some things that you guys have done over 2019 and and prior to that in IEPPV mm -hmm. and some other things. So adding some of that real world structure and not not too much draconian stuff, but sure. you know, just a little bit, just to make yeah. sure that. You know. Yeah, everybody likes a carrot. Everybody likes a carrot, yeah. Yeah, Car carrot and stick, but maybe, <laughs> maybe no stick. All right, let's dive into this thing. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and share Twit Pro here. All right. So the first entry up is from Armando and Armando says, sorry for the delay of time. He's having problems logging in. Oh, interesting. All right. Here we go. First one time. This is this hits time on a couple of levels, right? Obviously, the streaks and the, the long exposure, but also there's a big clock, right? Dead, you know, in the middle of this shot. What, what yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a very interesting shot. I'm I'm trying to spend some time, you know, figuring out what I'm seeing. It 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 looks like, you know, we've got some blur in the sky on the right of the of the clock. And I was looking for like a monorail, but I'm thinking maybe that was like a bus or a truck or something that came by. Mm -hmm. So uh, the long exposure stuff is always is always really really fun. Um, 
it, it, I feel like there's a lot going on in here. I'm not quite sure where I would where I would crop it to tell the best story. I think that I think for me, I really love the clock and I love you know the the streaks of lighting in, on the road. Um, and I like the color differences between those. I think we need to come in a little bit tighter, maybe crop off that signal light on the top left. Mm, That's yeah. kind of... It's a little distracting over there. Yeah, yeah, and come up a little bit from the bottom. Yeah, I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm thinking, what's my subject? I always say that mm -hmm. I mean, when we mm -hmm. first started, I'm thinking, what's my subject? And it doesn't have to be one thing, like the whole thing could be the subject. But then I'm thinking, what, what does the artist want me to think <clears throat> is going on here? Like, is this, if this was in a magazine, is this an illustration of, you know, the, the, the busy nightlife of a city or the right. traffic or you know, what, what is, what are we getting at other than showing that I understand how to do long exposures in, in light trails? And right. So I, that's what, I, that's what I'm looking at. I'm trying to like cropping it, I think, or even getting it a little bit tighter, still keeping the light streaks in there. But maybe making that that centerpiece, the clock, a little bit more obvious, and maybe that's it because it's showing the passage of time, you know, or something. I don't know. It's just something that that my brain is trying to figure out what a story is around this. Right. And when you have an image that that has a lot going on, and and I hesitate to say the word busy, but you know, when when it is busy and there's a lot of stuff in the image, that's what we're trying to figure out. That's how our brains work. Like we start following lights and patterns and leading lines, and then and then we want to see the overall story that's going on, and what's our primary hook, what's our secondary hook, um, and and like in in this image, the more that I look at it, the more that I am intrigued by that vehicle on the far left. Yeah, center. It? it looks like yeah. a trolley, right? Or like a tour bus or something. Yeah, and, and, and it's almost if you were to crop the clock out and clock just uh, crop just to the right of that tower and then crop up from the bottom and keep in the signal light, the vehicle on the left and that <clears throat> concrete tower right there. Mm -hmm. I think there I think there's a really good story there. Yeah. Yeah. And that's assuming there's enough resolution in the original file to do that. Right. right. That's, that's cropping in quite a, quite a bit there. Yeah. Cool. All right. Armando, thank you for that. Thank you for your submission. Another glimpse into Sao Paulo. Yeah. All right. And another international submitter, Craig Stamfley from Down Under says, the time, the timeless beauty <laughs> is timeless. How is hyphenated? Uh, the timeless beauty of a Porsche 911, a five second exposure that required a 3 a.m. start. Wow. A day of scouting and confirming of locations, several months of discussions with the owner, and then waiting on this particular car to be ready for my finger to press the shutter release. Yeah, so the story of this shot is not so much the the dragging the shutter for the, the motion blur. It's the time that it took to set it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, there is that, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's like like you said, it's you know, the shutter was a what whatever the the length of the shutter speed was. That was what it took to take this shot, but months and getting up at 3 a.m. and Right. Yeah, there's a lot of different time elements that went into this one single exposure. Right, right. No, I really dig the uniqueness of this shot. It's a, it's an awesome perspective. Um, my first thought was like, like, how the heck did you get a camera out that far? Like, is it mounted? Are you, mm. are you driving behind him? Are you leaning out the window? You know, um, all those things are are super challenging. But I really dig, you know, the 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 motion, and we know right away looking at this image, you know, kind of what's going on. You know, we're driving down the road. I love the arrow, even at the end of that little streak. Yeah. Um, yeah, it tells a lot. It yeah. tells a lot. Yeah. Now that we dive into this, I think I think I, I'm kind of liking this image. <laughs> this is yeah. really, this is I, really nice. Yeah, because it's it's my brain is. You're right. My brain is wondering. The photographer side of my brain is wondering, where the heck was that camera? <laughs> is, it, you know, this is this looks like it's a it's a Porsche, right? So it's a Porsche. So did you get one of those Hollywood style rigs and suction cup the camera to the <laughs> side of the car and, you know, and trigger it remotely? Or is this in post or is this a drone that you're precision flying next to the car at speed? Right, right. <laughs> like, what's going on here? What do you what do you think? How did he get this? 
Well, I, I I mean, I think the easiest way to do this would be, be to drive behind him in another vehicle and lean out the window. So mm-hmm. that would be the easiest way to do it. I mean, if this if this isn't a rented car where you could suction cup a camera all over it, um, you know, maybe that wouldn't be a good idea. Right. Yeah, so yeah. you could just you could just lean out and do the shot. Um, for, for me, I, I think that we have a little too much space on the left and it. it I wish that I could see more of the side of the car. I wish that I could I could actually see the door panel, um, so you can and, more, more easily make out what the what the make of the car is, maybe. Yeah, and see into the rims a little bit, and see a little bit more motion in there, um, and then and then uh, that green bush right in front of the car, like that's kind of it's one of those kind of things. Like I wish it wasn't there. And that we had some more detail in the clouds. Now, obviously, you know, that's outside of of what we have to look at. But ideally, some those are some of the things that that, that I would like to see better if I was playing with the image. Yeah. Uh, but admittedly, it's it's, it's on a re- shot on a shot like this. Could could uh, Luminar do a sky replacement on it with with mm-hmm. all this blur and gradations in there, like in those bushes on the left? I, I think so. I think it would probably do a really good job. And, and the thing about replacing skies is that um, you, you need to be really subtle about it. And so all you got to do is just get some some sort of texture in there mm-hmm. so that it doesn't it doesn't just go to like paper white. Right. Like it, it, it just not blankness. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like it is at the top there. Yeah. You're just you're just kind of kind of mm-hmm. losing it. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. You say now that we have that superpower, now it becomes a point of of critical analysis yeah stamply why didn't you replace that sky and put something more exciting in there so, yeah. and then and then even in in a, in a shot like this uh we need a little bit more um color competition a little bit more color harmony going on where you got this this blue porsche it would be really wonderful if we had a warmer sunset color in the sky mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so that you had some challenging colors now even if you just added a warm color to the sky, that's almost as good as adding clouds because it just it adds something there for our eyes to sit on. And it gives your eye gives you more of a feeling of the what the environment may have felt like and mm-hmm. kind of a sense of the time of day. Mm-hmm. Right. Right now, this I don't really have a sense of the time of day in this shot. Right. Right. Yeah. And right. If, if the sky was like some sort of fiery orange or it had some color in it, then the fact that that would reflect in those those you know the the paint on the car and mm-hmm. all that would be what and just a little sort of subtle hint mm-hmm. to it yeah yeah and, and and sometimes when we make an image it's not it's not what we get when we push the button it's kind of what's our vision for the image mm-hmm. yeah yeah you know? capturing capturing raw materials yep yeah great shot though that's yeah. very creative yeah very well done Good job craig sampley was chatting with Craig a little bit earlier. He said he was out on a beach shoot with a model. So I'm looking forward to seeing the fruits of that labor, hopefully later. Right, right. All right. Next shot is Amy Brooks. Amy Brooks has been attending our member mixers lately. I'm yeah. Happy, happy to happy. see her in there. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. And Amy says, uh, water and time never stand still except at one sixteen hundredth of a second. <clears throat> Shot two days ago at the Oregon coast where we had 20 to 25 foot swells with her A7. God, that's Jeez. so cool. Look at that. Look at those people right there. Wow. Yeah, we drove up we drove up the coast and drove up to Washington and then we went into into Canada. And one of the things I love the most was like just photographing the coast and the waves. Like I never want to go in the ocean, that's not me, but I love I love to photograph it. Mm-hmm. Um so I just I just love what this what this image is right here. Uh I I I wish we had a little bit more um black point, right? A li- uh, not not so much contrast cuz I think the water is okay. But bring the blacks down. And Mighty could have done that too. Mighty could have messed that up mm-hmm. when it yeah, got up. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I see what you're saying. Like in the roofs of the houses and the rocks in the foreground a little bit. Mm-hmm. I just need a little bit of a. Mm. Yeah, a little bit more punch. Yeah. And then and then the 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 big swell there, the big the water cresting there. I want to see a little bit more of that just to just to feel it more. Right, and I would probably crop from the right just enough to take out the white car. Mm-hmm. 
um, and leave the leave the people in there. I may actually what what I may do is crop out that far right person and then get rid of the white car because I think the white is distracting because I love the people standing there. Yeah, but I'm not a big fan of the cars. Yeah, we absolutely need the need some sort of object in there to give us a sense of scale. The houses in the background don't do it because they're too far away. Right. Great. The people in the foreground, you could tell approximately how close they are to that water, and it makes it all that more scary. Yeah, it's uh, they could easily take one of those people out with it. Right? Oh man, and water's heavy. Like you just don't think about it. You know, it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get wet. It's like mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. <laughs> little little sprays and knock you on your butt. Yeah, yeah. Rumor has it your lungs don't necessarily like water either. So <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 and, and and salt water especially. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. salt water. Yeah, yeah. No, this is great. I, I I dig this shot. Yeah, I really love it. I, I do. You know, one of the things that's happening here is because it's shot with such a long lens, those houses feel very close to the water. Um, and, and depending on, you know, your location, and this isn't maybe possible, but ideally a little bit wider lens would help us with scale because the houses would be pushed back. They would look mm. smaller. The way the splash would look bigger. Yeah. You know, but maybe you can't get this perspective from there. So, yeah. It's a cool shot, though. Really, it's very like cool. It. Yeah, I, I like the fact these. that she cropped it square too, and uh, that's not that that is not lost on me. The fact that she, mm -hmm. she intentionally mm -hmm. cropped this like this to to kind of place that that water where it is and and show it sort of go, growing into the frame. So. Yeah, and 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 I'll add that I love the fact that it's not black and white because that. Hmm mostly because of that red hood in the lower right oh right, right which right. i wish that i wish there was just one person there and like in a red hoodie and everybody else was gone yeah uh, yeah that's just one one per, or one person sitting on the edge of those rocks right there yeah with a red hoodie on yeah yeah or nobody and just a red balloon floating right there uh, oh yeah we watched <laughs> we watched it part two yesterday <laughs> have you seen that i don't watch those no no oh, you don't watch scary movies no well, that one you want to like steer as clear away as you possibly can that no. is uh yeah no i know the reference but i have no intention the last scary movie i watched was halloween and that was when it was when it came out <laughs> really wow <laughs> yeah i hate those okay yeah, you know like i like them because it's 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 the interesting thing about horror movies for me is not that i'm they're scary although when i was a kid some of those like supernatural and devil movies used to scare me like amityville horror and exorcist and stuff right. like that um, yeah. but now as i get older and i realize how things are done now i, <clears> I watch <throat> them to see how because it's harder it, every movie they release it gets harder and harder for them to fool a sophisticated audience right <laughs> and you gotta fool us with the realism of the effects and the story but also, you know, keep us entertained at the same time. That's really hard these days. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not that they it's not that they scare me. It's just that I, I don't I just don't want to watch that violence for entertainment kind of thing. You know, I have I had some you don't friends. Watch, you don't watch gory clowns eating children. Come on. No, no. I want to watch <laughs> aliens. I'm all down with like some freaky alien. that oh, sci fi yeah. horror. That genre. I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'm there too. I'm there too. Yeah. I want a whole movie. When, when sci fi horror is done right, like aliens and those kind of series, then it's cool. But then once that like when they when they released aliens and sorry, Amy, we're just on a tangent. Yeah, we are. Uh, but when they <laughs> when they released aliens that you know, you know how Hollywood is. They yep, yep. they smell blood in the water. Now everything has to be in that trope, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. I wanna I want a whole movie. On the Weeping Angels. What's the Weeping Angel? Oh, dude, I know you're not a Doctor Who fan, and if you're not a hooligan, I get it. But look up Weeping Angels. Um, they're basically statues that move when you don't look at them, and they're evil. They're just pure evil, and and they're just scary. They're just it, it, some of those episodes. It's just the scariest thing ever. You're in a dark room, and they got a flashlight, and one person says to the other, "Like you have to keep watching the angel. You have to keep watching it, otherwise it'll get us, and the lights go out." <laughs> and oh, that's they, interesting. They, that's and the interesting. angel moves. That's almost the opposite of of the uh, you know the simulation theory. Elon Musk simulation that we're living in a simulation. Yeah. And and there's some, that's sort of based in science because you know I'm not I'm not a uh you know 
I don't, I don't, I don't know string theory and, and all this quantum physics stuff, but I do know, I read somewhere that they've, they've sort of proven that things don't react until you look at them. <laughs> so <laughs> kind of like a video game, none of that video game world pretty much exists until you're in it. Right. And then when you're not looking at it on screen, it's kind of frozen or gone. It's kind of like your world. Like if you, if like in your garage right now, your garage <laughs> isn't there until you observe it. <laughs> oh, that's a whole different discussion. And we're going to need some beverages for that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's that book you're listening to. Yeah. 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 Cool. All right. Good shot. See, we need to do a podcast just nerding out like this. <laughs> that's our member mixer sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is like the member mixer. All right, next shot up is from Joshua Sommerfeld. Joshua says, it's that time of year, not bad for an 18-year-old camera I found at a pawn shop. This is a shot with a Canon EOS Digital Rebel XTI with a Sigma 70 to 50 millimeter lens on it. Wow, 18-year-old camera, wow. 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 Look at that. I like the fact that... So this, this one I like because he... You know, in the caption, we know that the, you know, he alluded, alluded, alluded to time, right? It's an 18-year-old camera that captured this image in whatever of, if, of a second. Um, a. B, it's timely because it, this is that time of year when mm-hmm. it's fall and we, we kind of know exactly what time of year this. We're, no matter where on the planet you are, you know what time of year this is when the, when the trees shed their leaves. Right, so. right. Yeah, yeah, I'm a fan of this one. And I can see, remember when we first started these critiques, we used to like hold things up to the would it look good printed hanging on the wall large test. Yep. This one I think would look good printed hanging on the wall. Although I'm not sure about the resolution. It looks a little bit a little bit soft, but even that might be an artifact of the fact that, you know, this is an 18-year-old camera. <clears throat> with, with, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm sure that the the resolution will hold out, um, you know, to the to the quality of the image. It's it's uh, it's it's timeless, which is one of the things that I really love about this image. Um, mm-hmm. I I do you think we could crop it a little tighter uh, on the sides? I'm not a big fan of that random branch over on the right. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we could crop it right in that negative space right there. It's not really going to change the story much and maybe tighten us up on the the warm leaves on the ground. But that's one of the things that I really love about this. Or the, the We know by looking at this that it took months or maybe weeks, depending on the tree, for those leaves to fall off and make that space on the ground. Yeah. 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 And the, uh, you know, now whenever I look at a shot like this, I'm thinking, man, would would that look good with like a red orange sky in there? (laughs) (laughs) You can change it. Now we have the power. You can't put the can't put Pandora back in the box. right? No, no, no. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm looking at this and I see that fence line in the back, that decrepit fence line. Mm-hmm. I just love that. I just love that, you know, sort of urban decay kind of stuff. And yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So the age and yeah, there's a lot of character there. Yeah. Yeah. The, the only thing that I maybe Joshua did this and we just don't see the shot is that, you know, for something like this, I would have moved in really close, probably shot a little bit wider, closer to the ground, try to get that tree more isolated against the sky, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. just to kind of separate it from the from the foliage in the background. Yeah. Yeah. And Joshua, maybe superimpose a single red balloon. <laughs> <laughs> floating, floating away. Floating in the left there. You know, that's a that's a that's an it reference if you didn't know true. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Next but last. Last but not least. Uh, least life is short from lamb lamb says the young tender shoots the matured yellow blooms and the dark brown remains of death represent birth maturity and death respectively it is the cycle of life that all living forms on earth must go through it sounds obvious to me but it was pure luck that i was in the right place right time with the right gear to capture and tell a story in one single frame my reaction after taking the shot life is short Mm-hmm. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, it's a very interesting yeah, perspective. I mean, even even if we didn't have the description, um, I, I would assume that that's what we're looking at here is, is you know, the that bloom or that growth kind of going away. I wish the highlight wasn't so dramatic 
Um, oh, kind of blown out on the yellow there. Yeah. 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 It's hard because we're losing detail. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I might, I'm just kind of looking at the crop. Like I may crop off the right side, crop off that, the, those little vertical twigs, you know, and keep the, the main mass there. And what that's going to do is it's going to sort of offset the balance, you know, yeah, a little bit. Give you sort of <clears throat> yin yang mm-hmm. uh, yeah, before and after type feel. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. I agree. But it's really cool. I, I've never seen that bloom before. Maybe because that's only in the, what yeah. was it? China. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? It's very cool. Very cool. I love these critiques because we get a glimpse of different parts of the world every oh, yeah. time. Every time. Very cool. All right. Well, that's it. That's it for the five submissions this week. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I have a favorite. We talked about what my favorite is. Do you have a do you have a favorite you want to share? I'm 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 looking at them right now and, and I and I keep going between Craig's and Joshua's, but I keep landing on Joshua's. And maybe because it's beanie weather and <clears throat> you know, I can I can feel the fall air, you know, being there and 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 the the smell and the leaves and so it's not only timely as in <clears throat> it's the, the falling of the leaves, but it's that time of the year. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm on that one, too. I, I, I think Craig's is obviously Craig always submits technically excellent work for, um, and as is Joshua. But this one nails it on a different a bunch of different sort of levels. Like I said, right. you know, he right. shot this with an 18 year old camera. Time, <laughs> yeah. You know, and the, the time of year that this was shot and the passage of time to drop the leaves on the ground. Right. You know, right. It's only it's only missing. I agree with you. That branch on the right um, probably would be, would be better off without that. Let me see if I can bring this up here. Uh, let's see. Will you let me bring it up? Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to let you do it. <laughs> it's not going to let me do it, is it? Oh. <laughs> What's going on here? It's technology, man. Ghost it's in the machine. Technology. What are you doing? What are you doing to me? All right, you're not gonna win. You are not gonna. <laughs> you are not gonna win technology. Get over it. Let me see if I can bring this up here. Uh, let's see. Show me this one. There we go. There we okay. go. Yeah. Sometimes the app gets confused. <clears throat> but showing the passage of time leaves in the ground. I was gonna say, yeah. If I still want that 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 red balloon in there, Joshua. <laughs> come on, Joshua. Tell me you've seen it. And if you've seen it. Put a balloon in here and tell me that wouldn't make just one red balloon would make this a horror scene. <laughs> Maybe like a, like like one of those where the helium's kind of lost its its lift and it's kind of laying just bit kind of laying on its side yes. and it's like a wrinkled up balloon and it's just kind of you know the winds kind of just yeah caught in yep. the tree. Yep. Maybe put a little clown face in that little shadow on the right hand no, corner. No, no, it's too far. <laughs> That's too literal. Come on, <laughs> that's too literal. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no creative, you know, direction to go there. Like you're, you, you got to leave some mystery. You got to be like, ooh, what are they trying to say? Yeah, yeah. Well, cool. Well, congratulations, congratulations, Joshua Summerfeld. Yep. You are this week's. Dig it, pick. dig it, dig it. <clears throat> you are our favorite, and uh, like we said at the beginning, uh, next week is going to be holidays. That's the theme. So whether you celebrate Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah none of the above whatever you know uh just this time of year feel free to articulate that in pixels however you feel like doing that and then uh you can get a if you if you're an overachiever stephen sharp if you are an overachiever (laughs) you can get a head start on next week uh 95 with celebrations or celebration however you want to interpret that and then next, then um, as we'll we'll continue this theme in the beginning of the year, just sort of uh, moving forward with. Um, uh, are we still on split? Yeah, moving forward with the um, you know the way that we've been doing critiques all year, and then we will crisp this up, and we'll share that in the community how we're going to crisp yeah. it up. Basically, it's not going to be that much different, but they'll just be you'll know what you're shooting for and there'll be a bit of competition involved in it just so and with a prize at the end. So instead of just jogging for your health, 
we're going to be in a race <laughs> with a prize at the finish line. So, right, right, yeah. right. It'll make hopefully make everyone run a little bit harder and give you a little bit more incentive to to submit images. Yep. All right. Uh, any final thoughts before we close this one off, Troy Miller? Uh, en- enjoy the holidays. That's what we're. That's where we're stuck in, right? Right now, this is the time. Like we're we're shopping and and uh, you know having hangouts with families and friends. So just enjoy the holidays. Take lots of photos. Take lots of photos. Yeah. 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 I'd be interested to know if people are actually going to take photos with, you know, their their proper cameras or will they be, <laughs> or will they be using these things uh, uh, over the holidays these exclusively things right yeah. here yeah yeah right right because i know i'm using this thing I for know. like I all know. this is my point and shoot now for the most part unless it's something you know that that's heavy-handed or planned out and then i'll bring yep. one of those those bigger cameras out but this thing does a fantastic job at just you know and it's always in my pocket so. yep yep i agree i agree yeah cool all right uh that's it for this one man thanks a lot for uh All right, boss. for lending your critique bias once again i appreciate it <laughs> and we'll uh <laughs> we'll see you next time any anything you want to share before we leave uh i don't think so no i think we're good i think we said it i'm looking forward to next year and the new new stuff that that's coming out of twip and yeah 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 lots of lots of new stuff lots of new stuff leaving lots of uh scar tissue it's building up trying to get that out for <laughs> you <Yeah>. people <laughs> but it's all good you know no one no no one ever uh built anything if any what, what did my dad used to say or my dad stole this phrase if it were easy everyone would do everyone it. Would, do it. Yeah. everyone would do it yeah so it's not easy all right man um i'll see you next time all right take care all right take care This is Twitter.